Masks have helped save countless lives during the pandemic, but that waste could have a devastating effect on our environment. Anchor Philip Townsend asked the Chesapeake Bay Foundation how it's impacting local wildlife. The pandemic's been an adjustment for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, but efforts to keep our waterways clean are picking back up. Crews are out planting more oysters, and they're on the heels of a solid legislative session in Virginia for agriculture and wastewater improvements. But there's still an unexpected threat in the form of disposable masks. We are beginning to see them you know, out in the waterways when we're out in the field doing work. We're That's the foundation's lead scientist, Chris Moore. Our biggest concern probably long term on this is that, you know, most of the masks contain small bits of plastics and we're learning more and more about the negative effect of microplastics in our waterways. And, and that is what eventually these masks are going to break down to. Those microplastics, he says, are taken up the food chain, hurting a lot more than the wildlife initially exposed. Littered masks are also a threat similar to plastic bottle holders that have tangled up aquatic animals for decades. And Moore says they're also making their way into our sewer system. Clogging it up can lower our overall water quality. It's just one more indirect consequence of the pandemic. But if there is good news, Moore thinks the long-term effects could end up being an advantage. More people got out of the house and connected with nature in 2020. That means more people got a chance to see litter and pollution in and around our shorelines firsthand hopefully uh, develop a greater affinity for them and want to protect them more and more in the future. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. All right, get out there. Pick up that trash while you're walking. Here is your chance to help out. Clean the Bay Day is back this year. To keep the crowd smaller, it's going to be a six-day event starting on Monday, May 31st.